welcome to my channel. My name is Penny and I'm coming to you today from Northern Ontario, Canada. I've been missing for a couple weeks so I have quite a bit to show you so let's jump right into it. Pamela at Pamela's Adoring Crochet put out a pattern for a pocket shawl. I fell in love with the pocket shawl and made it right away. Several people have seen mine and requested pocket shawls for themselves or for loved ones. So I've been on a pocket shawl mission lately and I have three to show you. <clears throat> the first one I have is just gray and I have managed to learn how to do the half double crochet foundation chain and it makes both sides of the shawl stretchy which I really like. Pamela's pattern is, is quick to make up and I find fits most people. However, I have moved the pockets on a couple because they are for shorter people and their pockets would be required to be a little higher. This one, a friend stopped in and seen my shawl and said she liked my shawl very much and she preferred the color plum. So this is going to be a Christmas present. The only change I've made to Pamela's um, pattern is I have made the twisted fringe a uh, viewer suggested Kristen Ondahl's um, tutorial. I went over and took a look at it and I have started trying to make it. They're not perfectly aligned yet, but I do like the way that they don't tangle up like the other ones does. My, my pocket shawl has had two little haircuts after it's been washed and I have removed the fringe from it now and plan on doing a um, twisted fringe on it too. The only real difference I have made I followed her pattern exactly, except around my pockets I have done a single crochet and that's just simply to firm it up so that it's easier to sew for me. Um, again, the twisted fringe. I'm really liking it. I'm not a professional at it yet, but who's going to stand there and measure each one of their little fringes anyhow. I have a couple more of these to make and then I will be done. They have all been made with the Bernat Cozy Style yarn. There's um, 1,013 yards in this and this is what you're left with which makes a couple nice little granny squares for my collection. Um, I'm happy that it uses the entire ball. It's only $9.97 to buy. I buy it at Walmart. I love it. It's soft and um, Bernat's one of my favorite yarn. The next thing I managed to make is last month I made this hat. Um, the pattern came from Crochet from Baby. All of the links that I mentioned will be in the description box below. But I took the, stain, the stitch pattern from that, the stitch count, and made a cowl to go with it. This is going to be for me. I don't wear a lot of hats. Uh, about the only time I wear a hat is when we toboggan with the grandchildren on New Year's Eve. So this is going to be my set and I'm going to keep it for myself. I bought from Spinrite. Uh, buy three get one free crochet um, cotton um, just a handicrafter cotton uh, the colorway is um, variegated pepper I think is what it's called and I got four balls of it it's darker than I like um, but I'm using it I plan on uh, donating some of these I made eight pot holders I plan on keeping two for myself I think they're the perfect size for me. Um, my kitchen's in brown, so they'll match quite nicely. I find they're a bit darker than normally I like for the kitchen stuff um, that, I, that I give to the girls and stuff. But I plan on making cookie trays for a couple of bachelor men I know. And I'm going to put a couple of pot holders in each one of those. Because it'll be nice for them to get a little treat and some type of little gift for Christmas. So I made eight of those. <clears throat> That's just the simple crochet um, pot holder. There's lots of YouTube videos on it. I've been making them for years, so I didn't really get it from a YouTube video. But um, next thing I have is I've made Jada and Stitches Falling Leaf um, dishcloth pattern. I made four of them. These are not going to be dishcloths. These are going to be dog face cloths. I I, I wash the dog's face every day, so I need quite a few rags for that. And if I do them color-coded, sort of like this, 
I can keep them separate from other dishcloths and stuff like that. Uh, not that I wash them at the same time, but still, I'm going to make probably about 15 or 20 of, of this style. And they're going to be just all for the dog for the face claws. For myself, I'm keeping stuff this time. I went for a road trip. And on the road trip, I took some scrubby yarn. I was planning on making some scrubbies to put in people's Christmas baskets this year. But when I was making them, I really wasn't thinking about it. I was just doing it, and I made them a bit small. So I'm keeping these scrubbies for myself, too. Everything's for me this time around. <laughs> Not quite. Um, <clears throat> another thing I made on our bingo square this month, I, I haven't even posted over there yet. I need to get over there and do that. But um, one, of the pa one of the squares this month was um, multimedia. And what she meant by multimedia is uh, you crochet something and then you use buttons or clips or clasps or rubber bands or with it that makes it multimedia. Well, this is a dish towel holder because it A requires a button, which is multimedia, and elastic bands, which is multimedia. I usually make quite a few of these to donate to the school for their Christmas craft sale, but they're not having it this year, so I have stopped working on those projects. I'm going to go through my box and whatever I can donate to the food bank or the food bank will take, I'm going to donate it to them. Just because I don't like to keep stuff around sitting for a year, or you have to wash it again, and yeah, just get it out of the house. <laughs> it served its purpose. I've got to crochet it, so now it's it can go anywhere. I managed to put together a lap gan. This lap gan is a wheelchair size throw. It is three round grannies. Some of them are solid. Some of them are color changes. And it's join as you go. I talked to a nurse friend of mine, and the the wheelchair throws I was making, she said was too big. So I'm going to give this one to the home, uh, the seniors' home here in my area, and see what they think about it. And if it's big enough, then great. And if it's not, I will make the next ones at least one round of Granny's bigger. Um. Not that I've given up on my hospice, I just haven't made any for hospice, but I have been making lots of granny squares. I have a, a shopping bag full of them here, and I have started making two round grannies because I would like a two round granny square for myself. Um, they're little, they're cute. I can see multiple colors. Queen size bed, I need about 600 of them, and I probably have 75 or 80 in here already and that's going to be in the next year I'm not doing it before Christmas I'm going to be using all my Christmas colored yarns that I'm using for granny squares though so I should have a nice variety of color in my blanket the next thing I managed to make was this is Debbie the Canadian crotch Dares pattern it's a um, front post no name beanie she called it I have one tail in this one that I'm trying to hide from you this is a small toddler size one. They're really thick and squishy and warm, and I, that's what I like about them. And I put a th three rows of um, camel stitch, as it sticks out, three rows of camel stitch around the, the brim, just to give it a bit of a brim. I did one that's a larger child, like eight to 10 years old, for donation, and I did a man size one. Uh, this one is a front post, back post, brim on it. It's not the camel stitch and I don't like it as well. I might go back and make this brim a bit longer just to make it maybe look better. We're going to see. And this one here, it has a string on it only so I can tell which one it is because this is, is for someone for Christmas in my family. And that appears to be all I have to show and tell you this time. So if you stuck around to the end, thank you very much. Um, I will link all the people I've mentioned in the, in the description box. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet because I do plan to do another video. And um, if you've had a chance, play with a little bit of yarn. Have a good day, guys.